You can start to play. Welcome to Thomas and Friends Tommy Races! Look at this track that Liam designed. This thing is crazy cuckoo. We've got all our Thomas and Friend Tommy engines. Real theme Thomas. Rusty. Duck. Arthur. Edward. I don't know if we're going to race all of them, but I mean we have the bridges, the double bridge, double spirals. This is going to be some fun. First up is Battle of the Narrow Gages. We've got Mighty Mac and his coach up against Rusty, big square head himself. On your marks. Get set. Hey, do you want to race Mighty or Mac? You want to race Mighty? Okay, let's. we'll just leave it like this. Go! Off they go, and here they come around the corner already. Mighty Mac with his little carriage. He's got the inside lane now. Rusty. Very quickly, well, but will Rusty catch up? I don't know, folks. Mighty Mac definitely ahead, coming through the bridges and going on to the spirals. It is Mighty Mac ahead by a great deal. Rusty, usually one of our top contenders, is a little bit behind now as Mighty Mac comes over the railings. Rusty, definitely only on the second uh, tier as Mighty Mac is already on the top and he is going up and he's gonna go down, folks. Coming around, I'm amazed that Mighty Mac is still on track and on time and hasn't caused an accident yet. He usually gets into a fight with, well, himself really. But he knows whether he's coming or going, going down the spiral speedway here. This big, long, slippery snake. Mighty Mac, the first time competing here on Kids Toys Play, is coming through for the win and he is one. Rusty, usually one of our fastest engines, but I guess he is nothing compared to Mighty Mac, my goodness. In his very first race, Mighty Mac, with that powered carriage of his, has eliminated the great Rusty. Next up, we have a very odd pairing. We've got Lady from the Lady in the Magic Railway pulling Scruffy, going up against Diesel, who's got a couple milk containers. ma huh. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, and they are neck and neck, nose and nose. Buffer to buffer, as they are going straight this time, we're going down the track the other way. We've designed the track to go both ways. It looks like Lady and Scruffy ahead slightly, as Diesel has all the milk in the world, but will it be enough, folks? Looks like Lady has the inside track, but we've measured it out, guys. It does not make a difference. Both tracks are equally the same size. Lady is going to be coming up the hill. She is in the lead in the background, as you can see Diesel in the forefront. Lady climbing up, no problem, and she is in the spiral. Going down and around as Lady does. It's almost as though she's running from a different diesel, one that's trying to get her. But Scruffy's right behind her and he's pushing on and she is going, going, gone. Diesel coming out here, but Lady is now going over the bridge as Liam. Who do you think's gonna win this? Uh, Lady. You think Lady's gonna win? Yeah. I think so too. As Lady's coming around the mountain when she comes, she's on that outside track now. Coming through, Diesel is catching up, but I don't think it'll be enough as Lady of the Rails goes on and wins. Good job, Diesel, for being quiet. That was really fun. These two engines really went at it. But ultimately, it was Lady of the Rails with her magic gold dust taking out Diesel and his magic milk cars. Next up, it's another steam team battle. We've got Toby, number seven. He's pulling Henrietta. Going up against Extra Fast Thomas, or Thomas and the jet engine, who's got that jet engine. Liam, any predictions? You think Thomas is going to win? I'm going with Toby. On your marks. Get set. Go! Off they go, and oh no, Toby got derailed already! I think my son cheated just because he wants extra fast Thomas to go extra fast. He says he cheated. And here is Toby now, going on behind an extra fast Thomas in that jet engine, going crazy. As he is coming up around. Whoa, and he's scared, is the jet engine going? Oh, full speed, folks. He is really going, Toby having a very tough time coming up as well, but it is Thomas at the jet engine, and I'm gonna get burned here if I get too close to that jet engine. Toby coming down the hill in the background, but it's Thomas at the jet engine, also known as Extra Fast Thomas, one of the fastest racers we have throughout all of our trains here on Kids Toys Play. And it's unfortunate that Toby is gonna get eliminated here, but Extra Fast Thomas lives up to his name. 
Oh, Henrietta, I should stay at four quarts. Extra fast Thomas and that jet engine of his is proving too quick for Toby and Henrietta. Next up, it's a race that everybody wants to see as Bill takes on his twin brother, Ben, in a race of the Soto China Clay Pits. On your marks, get set, go! And here they go, the twins, and it looks like Bill is ahead of Ben. I don't even remember, do you remember which one I just fixed? They're both kind of quiet, but Bill is definitely... I just fixed Ben? No, Bill. Oh, I fixed Bill? No, Ben. No, Bill. No, no, no. You're saying no to Bill and yes to Ben? I've got the twins mixed up, folks. Here comes Bill. He is definitely in the lead. Ben trying to catch up. I think Bill just got repaired, and that's why he's just appearing on our channel for the first time, but he is having no problem climbing the hills here at the Soto China Clay Pits. He is going around as his brother Ben is now climbing the hills, but here is Bill... He'll be coming around the outsides. When he comes, oh wow, a full tier ahead of his twin brother. Bill is having no problems getting on track and on time as he comes over. Now he's on the double bridge. Going down the double bridge line, it is definitely Bill ahead, running through and coming over. Look at this guy go, he is way ahead. Do you think he'll go on and win? I do, and he has. Good job, Ben, but you know what? I think that your twin brother's faster. One of the Tomy engines I just got a little bit of fix on inside. He fixed up his motor and stuff, and he has defeated his twin brother. Good job, Bill. Murdoch, one of the most popular engines in the entire series, even though I think he was only in one or two episodes. And Edward, Blue, can I ride with you and that big nose you have? Guys, he is so handsome. I can't wait to watch him beat Murdoch. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, and it looks like, oh, Murdoch got derailed now, and he is coming up, and will he pass Edward Blue? Can I ride with you? No, I can probably run alongside you, though, and win a race, because here's Murdoch, and he is coming up the hill. He has passed Edward Blue already. Edward, not the fastest engine on Sodor. Murdoch, the biggest and strongest, also not very fast. Coming back over the bridge, and here we go. He is coming up the mountain when he comes. Going around this big turn as Edward finally gets to the turn. Murdoch is going through them. He's almost completed them. Edward may be our slowest engine ever. What do you think, William? Yeah. You can see him barely coming through as Ed, or Murdoch rather is a full tier ahead of him. And we'll continue on. Let's watch him come down the line. And he is coming down the mountain now, folks. And going around, going off in the distance. I don't even see, yeah, we do see Edward. He's on that second tier, but Murdoch is the big success story here. Coming through as he goes into the twisty snake track. It looks like Murdoch will finally win a race, which makes me very happy because he's one of the more popular engines here on Kids Toys Play and all of Sodor. And he is going through and he has won. Murdoch once again proving how big and strong he is, taking out Edward, the number two engine. Next up, we got Arthur, the LMS engine. I love that guy. Going up against Duck, who kind of waddles when he goes. That's what saddle tanks do. On your marks, get set, go! And here they go, and it is Duck. Wow, I was hoping for Arthur to go, but look at Duck. Saddle Tanks is going down and he is going through the twisty turny track. Look at this, guys. Oh no, he stopped for some reason. I think that uh, it was too much of a twist. Arthur caught up, but not enough. As they're going neck and neck, it looks like Duck is still slightly ahead. And he will continue on coming around. Oh no, he stopped again. What's going on, Duck? You can see he wants to go. Arthur now is taking the lead. Duck needs a little bit of a push. Arthur off in the distance, having a good time. Duck needs the big push. Let's go to Arthur as he is coming around. And he will go down, and now Duck has caught up to him, but Arthur's still in the lead at this point. I think they're still coming through. Oh yeah, Duck definitely needs a little bit of help. I don't think his connectors are good on his battery. He was going good in the trial runs, but he has not had enough time coming out as Arthur now takes the lead. Will Duck pass him? It looks like he's definitely catching up. This is definitely going fast enough. And Duck has caught him, and he has passed him. Duck now in the lead. Oh, Montague takes that inside track. Will it be enough to go on the outside track and win? Here we go. It is Duck. What will happen? Who will win? It is Duck. 
We aren't sure what happened there. Duck had a, he he was going good and then he slowed down. I think that his saddle tanks just waddled too much and he kind of fell off track. Arthur eliminated. Next up, a very interesting race. We have Emily, excellent Emily, going up against Scarlowy, who we also just repaired and we haven't raced him yet. On your marks, get set, go! Off they go, and here they go right into the turn right already, and it is Scarlowy just barely ahead. It looks like Emily is catching up. Wants to catch up on this inside turn. And it looks like they're almost neck and neck, but Emily having a problem climbing the hill. Scarlowy has gone on, and he is going down the double highway, if you will, on the bridges, and he will enter. He is super loud, folks, but he will enter the spirals as excellent Emily tries to catch up. It is definitely Scarlowy ahead. Oh my goodness, he is going around and around, folks. Emily having a tough time catching up to the whole team behind him. As Scarloe, the party engine, is now coming down the big ramp and goes into a turn. He is coming around and he is well ahead at this point. His excellent Emily in the background is just going ahead. Scarloe definitely going down all over the place here, folks down the big, snaky, slippery track. He is so far ahead of Emily, it's not even funny. It's like she got stuck in the mud or something. Scarlowy, the narrow gauge engine wins. Excellent, Emily. Looks like she needs Murdoch to pull her out of the mud. Scarlowy, my friend, number one engine in the narrow gauge wins. And here's one of our favorite engines, real steam metallic Thomas pulling Annie and Clarabelle going up against Mavis of the far corner quarry, one of our favorite diesels. She's so friendly. On your marks. Get set, go! Off they go and here it is, Real Steam Thomas, wow. He is going so fast, look at him go down this crazy cuckoo track of ours. The fastest engine on all of Sodor, there's no doubt about that. He is coming around and he is just dominating anybody that he'll go on track with. You see Mavis down underneath, she's doing her best, but I mean, this is a really lopsided race. Thomas just going down so fast. Whoosh. And a weesh. And he is already out of the spiral before Mavis has even got up the hill. On the double bridges now. Going as fast as he can. Chuffing in for the win. And it is Thomas for the win. And here we have Mavis. You know what? She tried her hardest. But honestly, it is so hard to race that real steam Thomas. He's just too fast. Not much of a surprise to anyone that's been on the channel before and seen that Real Steam Thomas is the fastest engine I think that we have, to be honest with you. Here we are ready for more races. Eight engines remain as Real Steam Thomas, Murdoch, Mighty Mac, Scarloe, Duck, Lady, Bill, and Thomas and the Jet Engine remain. First up, let's have Mighty Mac take on Lady, but you know what, son? Instead of Mighty, let's switch it over and do Mac. On your marks, get set, go! Here they are, and it looks like Mighty Mac has a little bit of an advantage, but Lady is catching up. They're going very close. There's Lady on the inside turn, and it looks like, whoa, neck and neck, and Lady is now taking a little bit of a lead over Mighty Mac as they're going down this awesome double way. Wow, look at Lady. Lady of the Rails now split off. Mighty drives better than Mac. Yeah, I think you're right. Mighty does go better than Mac as Lady is definitely in first place. Mac in second place. We should have kept Mighty driving as he won his race, but Mac is not doing so good. Lady now coming down and out, but oh no! Looks like Mighty Mac has caught up. He went down way too fast and he has caught up, but will it be enough? I'm not too sure as Lady enters these final turns and they are now neck and neck. Coming around the turns when they come, they look very close. It's gonna be a very close race, William. Who's gonna win? Um, maybe Lady. I'm gonna say maybe Mac and let's just see what happens. And in the end it is Lady of the Rails. And Mighty Mac looks neither here nor there. He raced his best, but ultimately it was Lady of the Rails that wins. Next up, let's have, a, this is gonna be a good race. Let's have uh, Thomas of Thomas of the Jet Engine against Bill of the Soto China Clay Pits. I don't think it looks too good for Bill. On your marks, get set, go! And here they are, folks. It looks like Thomas and the jet engine going up ahead of Bill. He is well ahead at this time. 
Bill trying his best, but I mean that jet engine is really pushing on and you can see the jet engine in the background going, going, going as Thomas goes extra fast and he is in his, his zone, climbing up the hill, that jet engine pushing on him, oh no, he's stopped. He's got a little bit of a problem and Bill has taken the lead, folks. We're having our special helper get on and try and help Thomas, but it looks like Bill is in the lead at this point as they're coming around. And Thomas has taken the lead again, but will he get caught again? That's a big question. Thomas comes around and he will go out of the tracks and onto the double lane highway, if you will, well ahead of Bill at this point. Not sure what happened there. This Thomas is very good at climbing, but he had a little bit of a hiccup there and it almost cost him the race, but not enough as that engine still burns. Congratulations, extra fast Thomas with your jet engine. You've eliminated everyone in the side and the Sodor China clay pits. Scarlowe, the loudest engine we probably have, going up against Doc, red versus green. This should be fun. On your marks, get set, go! Oh no! Oh man, that was almost a false start, but they're doing so well. They're almost neck and neck. I think Duck has a slight advantage over Scarlowe. Quack, he says the number eight engine. Oh, gets stuck going up a hill. It needs a little bit of a push. Giving Scarlowe the nail gauge engine enough time to get ahead. And he is taking full advantage of that. Going, oh no, he got stuck. Oh no. Not sure what happened there. There is some kind of curse, but he had got himself worked out. Duck now going around in the spirals. Oh, and he is stopped in the spirals. He needs more help. Meaning Scarlowe now takes the lead. Oh my goodness, and now Scarlowe got stuck. What is happening? This is just an accident prone race. Duck still having problems as Scarlowe now on the top tier is coming around and he's got stuck and so is Duck and Duck got a big push and Scarlowe got a little one. Scarlowe going ahead and he is in the lead as he is coming down and around. Duck also going in the background. Here he is in the forefront. They will get in the races and it looks like Duck now has the lead again. But will he maintain the lead is the big question as these two engines are having problems. Looks like Duck has got a big lead now. Scarlowe got stuck again. Oh, our helper is just jumping all over the place today here, folks. Railway, railway repair over here, just jumping all over. Oh, Duck, my goodness. What is going on? These guys have fresh batteries in them, folks. I'm not sure what the problem is, but Duck goes on, Scarlowe gets loud. Wow, these two engines having all sorts of problems. What a fantastic race. That was so back and forth. Congratulations, Duck. And the final race of this round has Thomas. Real Steam Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle, the longest engine we have up against Murdoch, the biggest engine on Sodor. On your marks, get set, go. Whoa, Real Steam Thomas is really steaming as fast as he can, Murdoch. Not doing so great. Look how far ahead Thomas is pulling Annie and Clarabelle on his branch line. His branch line, it must be. I don't know. I hope he doesn't have any stops because he is really going. Maybe he's streamlined, folks. I don't even know. Murdoch in the background. Thomas definitely ahead. Going over. And let's just watch him come down as he is going so fast, folks. Thomas just cut, or sorry, Murdoch rather, getting stuck on the hill. And it looks like Thomas is already out of the spiral and all the double lane bridge coming around. Oh no, this is just way too dominant. And Thomas goes on and wins. Mighty Murdoch just coming out of the spiral now. Oh, and he got stuck again. My goodness. Two of our most popular engines, but Murdoch, my friend, you have been eliminated. Is there any stopping Real Steam Thomas? Welcome to the final four as Real Steam Thomas, Duck, Lady of the Rails, and Thomas and the jet engine remain, folks. This is gonna be a lot of fun. First up, let's have Lady and Thomas race to see who gets away from Diesel 10. On your marks, get set, go. And here we go, it looks like extra fast Thomas, extra fasting on Lady with Scruffy. That jet engine's still going, and he is up on the double bridges. Lady left in the dust, and I hope she doesn't get burned by this engine still going. Going around and around, and Lady is in this other spiral, but ultimately it is Thomas. Woo, look at this, he is really going, folks. And he is going down the lane. That jet engine just pushing on him, coming around, and he is through. As Lady is now just getting out of the spiral, way back, but Thomas and the jet engine flying down the line going all crisscross. You can see Lady way off in the background in the distance. 
It is Thomas and he will make it to the final. Lady of the Rail is doing as best she could, but here is Thomas in the jet engine and he is one. Next up, it is Real Steam Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle taking on Duck who just has problems with everything he's doing today. On your marks, get set, go! Whoosh and a wish, Duck is left in the dust and it is. My goodness, look at this Thomas, the tank engine, go, go, go! I love watching this guy go down the line. Let's just watch him. I don't think Duck is going to catch up. He's still having problems with railway control helping him out. Thomas, the tank engine, Annie and Clarabelle coming up and he is going over the spiral. Look at him go. Coming around for a second pass before he gets off the track and leaves going down. So fast. Like a streak of blue lightning, folks, Thomas the Tank Engine has won. And another one bites the duck, if you will, because Thomas has eliminated Montague. Welcome to the final race, folks. Two Thomases remain. Only one Thomas will win. Will it be Extra Fast Thomas or will it be Real Steam Thomas? Let's find out. On your marks, get set, go! And here they are. And the two Thomases are going, but it is Real Steam Thomas Doing slightly ahead of Extra Fast Thomas. Real Steam is definitely one of the fastest engines we own, if not the fastest ever. And he is going into these curves. Both these engines coming around when they come. The two Thomases are just going, going, gone. Unbelievable. And it looks like this Thomas is coming down and around and flying over. Well, folks, I don't think there's much surprise here. Real Steam Thomas, you can barely see Extra Fast Thomas in the background as Real Steam Thomas is coming over with Annie and Clarabelle. He goes on and he will win. And here is Jet Engine Thomas, a close second, but not close enough. And it's all over but the crying, folks. Extra Fast Thomas has been eliminated. Congratulations, Real Steam Thomas. You are the fastest Tomy engine we have once again.